need to like kind of wear them in so that I don't get blisters. Take the doctor off. In my wedding shoes, no thanks. So, do you guys remember the, like, wedding expo that we went to at our wedding venue, like, I don't know, a month or two ago, I think? And, um, yeah, so uh, while we were there, I entered for a, like, Mary Kay giveaway thing, and I won, which is, like, super exciting. So, I have that scheduled for today. So, like, the girl is coming over to my apartment to do, I'm not exactly sure, like, what it is, but I don't know, so it should be fun. And my maid of honor is also joining us because she said I could bring a friend. And yeah, so I'm really excited about that. It should be a fun day. But I just kind of wanted to start the vlog real quick and say, hey, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to vlog like while they're here, but I will definitely be filling you in on, you know, like what, I don't know, what we do after they leave. Um, but I also am going to have her do kind of like um, a makeup trial for the wedding because I still haven't like booked my makeup person for the wedding and so yeah so I'm gonna see kind of like you know what she can do and if I want to book her for the wedding which is really exciting but yeah the apartment is still kind of a mess and so I think I'm gonna do kind of like a quick run around out in like the living dining room area and kind of get that as picked up as I possibly can and kind of move some of the clutter maybe into like the office or the bedroom or something so it's you know a little clearer out there for while we're doing stuff and yes yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do real quick before they get here hey guys so it's a little later and everyone just left um well the Mary Kay girl left like a little bit ago but my maid of honor hung out for a little bit afterwards and she just headed out but yeah it was a lot of fun we like tried so many different products and so she like kind of had us walk through a whole like skincare routine and then she helped us do our makeup like she would kind of like, you know, do say like one eye and then have us do the other to like, so I don't know, I'm kind of trying to get better at doing makeup, so I appreciated that too, and so she kind of like, you know, walking us through everything, and it was like, it was a lot, a lot of fun, and um, so this is kind of the look that she did for me, because on, for my wedding, I want something really, I want that like, you know, bridal glow from within type of thing, I want really, I want really natural makeup, so the only thing that I would definitely do different, I'm planning on having um, false eyelashes on my wedding, because like, you guys know I hate my tiny baby lashes, so like no um, no amount of mascara is going to ever make my lashes what I want them to be. So for my wedding, I'm doing fake eyelashes, but yeah, I think it's really nice. Like, it's nice and subtle and simple and, you know, I don't know. I'm happy with it. And so yeah, that's kind of how it went. And I actually did end up buying a couple things from her, and so that's very exciting. I'm really excited to use them. One's like um, their microdermabrasion stuff because... I've been wanting to find like um, an exfoliator to add into my skincare routine because I don't really have anything that I regularly use and yeah I have some you know acne scarring kind of around my face that I really kind of want to you know make a strong effort to get rid of before my wedding I mean and just in general um, so yeah I'm really excited about that and then I also got I did there was like a kit thing so it came with two products one was the microdermabrasion stuff and one was the um, it's like a pore minimizing serum so. That's also nice, but I'm really excited about the microdermabrasion. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how our morning went. It was a lot of fun. It was kind of just fun kind of hanging out and playing with, you know, skincare products and makeup and chatting. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun. And then after, so after the Mary Kay girl like left, um, like I said, Maggie hung out for a little bit and we kind of just, you know, hung out. I showed her all sorts of like, you know, wedding stuff that I've done because like, I mean, she's my maid of honor. And so I kind of was updating her on, you know, I don't know, the decisions that have been made, because I feel like every, you know, day so much more gets done for the wedding that there was just, like, so much I had to fill her in on. Like, um, I showed her my guest book frame, and she really liked it. I'm really excited about that, too. Um, and yeah, just kind of talked wedding stuff, hung out, and yeah, now it's almost 4 o'clock, so Melissa should be getting out of work soon. I just had lunch because I was, like, starving. I hadn't eaten since breakfast this, like, the whole day, and so I was really, really hungry. And unfortunately, my little munchkin isn't feeling so hot today. So ever since we woke up, she's just not been feeling so hot. And I feel really, really bad. But she basically just slept the whole time that I had, you know, that the people were there. And I couldn't really, you know, like, cancel the appointment because, I don't know. And, like, I don't think there's anything, like, really wrong with her. She doesn't see, like, she's still, you know, like, alert and, you know, she, but she just clearly something's wrong and she just doesn't feel so hot and so hopefully by the end of the day she'll like perk back up that's normally what happens if she's not feeling really good like by the evening she'll kind of be better and if not the next day she's usually all better and so 
that's kind of the judge I go by and if she's not better tomorrow then I might contact her vet but so far we're just hoping that it's a little you know a bug or something and that it'll work itself out but yeah um I don't know that's kind of all I got to update you guys on I'm probably gonna get back to do a little bit of work because since you know I had them here for a good you know like the whole afternoon I haven't been able to do all that much today so I'm gonna try and do some wedding stuff and get all that sorted hello hello so Melissa got home from work headed right back out the door went to the gym and now she's back again See, they wonder why they haven't seen you. It's because I haven't seen you. You're never here. <laughs> you go to work, and then you go to the gym, and then... I'm busy. Now you know. And so she's heading back out, actually. Shh. <laughs> because we're getting some dinner. <laughs> no judgment. Honestly, though, we've been pretty good. Like, yeah, been. ish. <laughs> the last time I ate out was Tuesday, Wednesday last week. I went to Cadova. Friday. What was Friday? You had burgers with Jack. Poop. <laughs> but other than that. But like, we eat healthy takeout. Like, we don't go to McDonald's or like. <laughs> she says as she heads to Cadova. Cadova's, I mean, it's no, I know. rice and. Meat yeah, I know. And like. We literally haven't had I mean, fast fast food like, in like five years. Yeah. Like, we haven't eaten. Like, we ate McDonald's when we first started dating. It's probably been a good five, six years since we have literally eaten any actual fast food. We lived in the two apartments ago now, when we, last time we ate fast food. Do you count Chick-fil-A? I mean, that was, like, still, like, three years ago, but, yeah. What do you mean two apart two apartments ago? That was before I got, that was where I got sick. Yeah. Where I got the problem. But we only ate Chick-fil-A. We didn't even eat McDonald's at that point. Yeah. Like, no, we really didn't. Yeah, we did. Maybe like, okay. When we first moved in there, we used to go to Taco Bell still. Oh, yes, we did. We totally did. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, though, Taco Bell. I could totally eat Taco Bell again. <laughs> I don't think I could. I can eat a Crunchwrap Supreme. I want to make a homemade Crunchwrap Supreme. It's never going to be as good. I know, but it's going to be still I like... I will try. I yeah, will try. I want to... I'm making them with you. I want to try. All right, anyways. <laughs> I'm going to go get Canova. She's going to go get Canova. I'm going to be here. Well, guess what, guys? Melissa checked our mailbox, and there was a message from the, like, post office person, mail carrier, and my Sephora play is, like, kind of here. They, like, basically dropped off a note saying, we tried to deliver it, but, like, I guess not too hard because I was home, so I don't know how they tried. But anyways, um, yeah, yeah I don't, weird. I didn't yeah, right? I was that. like, you really couldn't have just left it on my doorstep or even like knocked if it was that important. I don't know. Anyways, regardless, it's waiting for me at the post office. I'm going to go get it tomorrow. And I'm also going to pick up my international stamps for our invitations tomorrow because we have some guests coming from Oscar that are invited to live in Australia. And um, so we need some worldwide stamps. And so I'll get those while we're there. So that's exciting news. And yeah, see you in a few. Go get Kidopa. I did two miles. I knocked a minute off my mile today, guys. You did? Good job. All right, so she is back with our dinner. I got a burrito. She got a burrito bowl. And I am really excited By to eat way, this. It's very clear in here. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I tried to pull a lot of the stuff out since I was like having, you know, the yeah. like Mary Kay woman and Maggie over. So this is kind of what the living room's looking like right now. It's obviously still has junk everywhere, but a little less junk than normal. <laughs> But so I thought I'd kind of share what I normally get when we go to Cadoba. I get a steak burrito with what white rice, black beans, mild salsa, so like the tomatoes, cheese, sour cream, and guacamole. Yep. And that's what I get. What do you get? A uh, burrito bowl with the shredded pork, cheese, sour cream, and salsa. Nice. You get rice too, right? Rice. Yeah, rice. <laughs> and this little girl is hanging out over here, still not feeling great. We think she like pulled a muscle or something. Because she's not, like, acting like she feels sick. She just kind of is acting like she, like, I don't know, like something hurts. So I think she pulled a muscle. But she ate her breakfast finally, so that's good. Yeah, so we're feeling a little better, I think. We're going to sit down, eat our dinner, open the sour cream with great effort. <laughs> and what are we watching? Are we watching more uh, When We Rise? Yeah. Probably. Probably. All right. How's the little munchkin doing? We have her kind of hanging out over here on her little... Princess in the pee bed <laughs> with all of our couch blankets kind of folded up to make a little bed. 
We think she hurt her neck or something. Yeah, I think she like pulled a muscle or something. That's what she's acting like. Because she won't actually like lay her head down. And so I gave her her little blanket. And the second I gave it to her, she like put her head down right yeah. away. Yeah. Like she like really was, was glad yeah. To, like rest it. Yeah. Yeah, poor baby. We have been doing a ton of wedding work over here. We sent <laughs> out like. A ton of emails. We officially have a meeting set with the wedding planner. We are in talks with the photographer. We also sent an email to like the venue because we have to set up. Um, mm -hmm. What? I just to say in cahoots. In cahoots. We set up a our worst. We sent an email. Excuse me to the venue because we have to set up like um kind of a final walkthrough at least thirty days before the wedding to kind of like let them know like. This is how we're going to set stuff up. This is, you know, the tables that we need to use that you have. And, you know, just kind of go over, like, a game plan with them. And so we sent off that email to get that ball rolling and that meeting scheduled. The next two months are going to be absolutely insane. We have so many meetings on the books and, like, stuff. But getting crazy and it's getting close. <laughs> but, yeah, that's kind of how our night was going. We were watching This Is Us, or not This Is Us, When We Rise. And then stopped halfway through and started doing yeah. badly wedding plans. We like paused it, I think, to do to deal with one thing, and then it just kind of like spiraled out of control. We've been sitting here for like an hour doing like mad wedding work. <laughs> well, when it that's, starts to happen, you kind of just got to take the opportunity and yeah, that's just get kind of work how it works. Be right back. Be right back. Okay. But yeah, I think after today, I think we have our alcohol sorted. We're getting that through. Like my maid of honor knows someone who owns a restaurant, and so they're like helping us out to get alcohol. And so we were like kind of finalizing the list of exactly you know how many bottles of everything that we want to order. So we have that like kind of settled. We have our engagement shoot very close to being settled. We're either doing it Monday or Wednesday next week, and we're deciding between two locations, both in the city. One is more of like a park and it has the cherry blossoms blooming right now. And so that only just became a possibility tonight. Melissa was like, you know, the cherry blossoms are blooming in Druid Hill. So we might, we might do it there. Otherwise, if we're doing it like down um, in Fells Point, which is like, I don't know, in Baltimore. And yeah, it's going to be, it would be more of like a kind of in the city shoot. So those are the options that we're thinking of right now. We, like I said, have a meeting scheduled with the wedding planner to kind of get the ball rolling with that. To like, I mean, she's not a wedding planner. She's a day of coordinator is what we hired her for. And so to kind of just fill her in on basically everything for our wedding to get everything going with her. Hello. Hello. I was trying to tell them like all the millions of different things that we were dealing with. Mm. But yeah, now we're trying to find a place to rent some chairs for the reception that is not $800. <laughs> for a hundred chairs yeah because that's ridiculous yeah so that's kind of our next task but i think we're gonna get back to our evening actually should i just say good night now yeah yeah i think yeah i think i'm just gonna say good night would you like to come out and join me to say good night she would <sighs> hello what's that face for i'm tired <laughs> yeah you got anything to say to them hi <laughs> Got a new keyboard and I like it. Yeah. I finally got, I, I was like, oh, I need to test my keyboard out. She was like, little typing. did I know. She was typing all the emails. I was so about yeah. to just sit down and type emails for an hour. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also got a little closer to picking out um, ties and stuff for you and your, your boys. Because she, she sent dudes me a bunch. Honor. Dudes of That's what we decided we're going to call them. <laughs> um, she sent me a whole bunch of links to like different ties and bow ties at the tie bar which is where I was going to tell her to look anyways because I, I keep seeing ads for them on Pinterest and I really like their look I don't know but yeah found it all on your own <laughs> yes I did and so she sent me yeah, a I couple I just need shoes for me you do need shoes yeah I got shoes I love my shoes I need to wear my shoes I need to like kind of wear them in so that I don't get blisters take the dog for a walk in my wedding shoes no thanks <laughs> why not because I want them to stay white at least before the wedding, even if they won't be after. <laughs> no, I'll not be taking Dakota for a walk in my Bagby Mishkas. <laughs> Whatever. But I think we're going to go to bed, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to follow along with all of our daily vlogs and all of our crazy wedding planning. <laughs> and we will see you guys tomorrow.
Good night. Good night.